Two years ago, we first showed you this photograph. An officer from the North County Police Cooperative standing over a dead man's body, holding onto his arm and giving a thumbs up sign. Now a lawsuit has been filed demanding answers about this. Attorneys wanting to use the courts to get answers. My heart hurt every day. That was my only son. Kim Staten's son, Omar Rahman, was 28 years old when his body was found in a home in Pine Lawn in August of 2016. His death ruled an accidental overdose. I miss his smile, his voice. His death made more painful, she says, by this photo given to News 4 by a source in the months after his death. At the time, the North County Police Cooperative said the incident was under investigation. Then Chief Tim Swope said the officer was positioning the body for pictures at the scene and gave the thumbs up, quote, in response to the photographer's question as to whether he was ready for the photo to be taken, unquote. The chief also told the Washington Post at the time there was no malice, but said the officer, quote, may have used poor judgment. Swope said an investigation would be conducted. Bottom line, you feel like you haven't gotten any answers about what happened? Zero answers. Staten's attorney, Tom Porto, now tells News 4 that in almost two years they have heard little from the co-op. We still do not know what became of the investigation. This has been a, just a complete disaster for the family. Uh, it's been very hard on them and they've been seeking answers uh, from the police department as to how this happened. They've now filed a lawsuit claiming the officer's actions inflicted emotional distress. Porto says they've never bought the department's explanation. It really was not good enough. They can't possibly explain that photo. You can't explain that away. We went to Vanita Park, which oversees the co-op, for answers. Swope was recently suspended from the department, then abruptly announced his resignation earlier this month. We could not reach him for comment. The newly named chief told us he could not comment because of the pending litigation. I'm definitely hopeful that the change in leadership of the co-op will lead to you know, more transparency and cooperation you know, as we try to sort this out. Porto says the community cares. Yeah, they have to think about, you know, are, are my tax dollars going to funding, uh, defending uh, actions like this? Staten, frustrated it's been two years, says she wants to make sure it never happens again. And I feel much better when something has been done. Through a public records request, we've learned the officers named in the lawsuit are no longer with the co-op, but we don't know exactly why. We do know they are employed in other departments now. An attorney representing those officers says he cannot comment because of the litigation. This is something we will certainly keep following. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4.